Seventeen-year-old Lillian Kaiji from Chebri Bay Village in Ibukwa District saw her dreams fading away after she dropped out of school. Initially aiming to become a lawyer, her aspirations were cut short when family tragedy struck. Her father, the sole breadwinner, fell ill, and Lillian had to leave school in her first year of secondary education to take care of the household and the livestock. Because the dad was sick, mommy went to the hospital and I, say, and I stayed home looking after animals. After her father's death, financial hardships prevented her from returning to school. As her mother couldn't afford, they required 148,000 shillings for her fees. I went to school, I was sent back for fees. I stayed home. The second day on Tuesday I went to school, I was again sent back for fees. Just as her hopes seemed the lowest, Grace Yachemi, the chairperson of Kapchora Municipality Taylor's Emyoga Circle, discovered Lillian during a missionary visit to Bukwo. Moved by Lillian's distress, Achemi offered her a new beginning. When she told me all about her story, she has just lost her father. As the father died, no way to get the school fees, no way to do what. I took a step. She brought Lillian into her home and enrolled her in the Mount Olive Training Center, a vocational school specializing in tailoring, funded by the circle. Since she came here, she knew her problem. This girl has been helping even to mop this house like this, to do everything because she wants to learn. In just one month at Mount Olive, Lillian has mastered the basics of tailoring. This skill reshaped her dreams, no longer aspiring to be a lawyer. She now aimed to make her mark in the fashion industry. He taught me how to make clothes. And for now, I am now making them clear. And so far, she already she has made some shirts, she has made some skirts, she has made some trousers. Martin Sem, a local resident and a member of the circle, highlights the distressing trend in Kapchora where many girls are forced to drop out of school due to economic hardships or teenage pregnancies. And also, when you look at some people, uh, some parents even don't care for their children. And all this also leads children to drop out of school. The training centre represents a crucial intervention offering young women like Lillian an alternative pathway to self-sufficiency and success. Currently, there are about 50 young women receiving training here. When they come and they are trained now like what you are doing here, they will even forget of what they are going through. Six months to one year. Because when you say train less than that, they will not learn well. So six months to one year. Then they acquire their certificates. These people have come from far. Like some of them come from as far as Bukwa. Some as far as Kasserem down. Today, Lillian's future looks bright again. Through her training, she's not only crafting garments, but also crafting a new path for herself, one filled with the possibility of becoming a fashion entrepreneur. Her story is a testament to the transformative power of community support and vocation training, turning her once dim prospects into hopeful journey towards empowerment and creativity. Habat Kamoga, NTV.